In today's episode, Biff and Skippy are at Tug's Tavern, a scene of Skippy and Roberta's wedding reception. About a year ago when I began writing the adventures of Skippy and Biff, I needed some place, some point of reference that all San Diegans would know. So I naturally picked Tug's Tavern. After all, everybody's been through these doors at one time or another. But by the time this story airs, Tug's Tavern will be no more. I just had to come back one more time to sample the quiz scene and to remember all the good times. A lot of other people decided to do the same thing. It's Sunday morning, November 10th, the final breakfast at Tugs, ending 17 years of food, drink, and friends here at the corner of Mission Boulevard in Emerald. The faithful have gathered today, arriving on foot, by car, bike, motorcycle, and even women. You might be wondering why all the hoopla, and why underneath it all you could feel a certain sadness in this crowd. Well, there aren't many places where you can get a Philly meal for one dollar. But more than that, the closing of Tugs confirms what these people hoped would never happen. The beach area is changing, and soon the good old days will be just that. No one understands this better than Tugs owner Tom Warren. Part of the problem is that Pacific Beach, originally, if we could have gone into more tourism and try to keep the building and stuff down, that we would have allowed people to visit this area for short periods of time and go back home and then realize why they were here. And when they did move here, then they would keep it the same. But what happened is we had an influx of people in the San Diego from other parts of the country, and they changed San Diego or Pacific Beach as the same as where they left and then and that the reason they left there was because they didn't like it so then i don't know where they're going to go then after that possibly when everybody leaves again then we can change it back what was tugs really like you ask well as the old saying goes a picture speaks a thousand words so come on in and take a look everybody in this city know the name of this tavern and probably has been through it at one time or another? Well, it all goes down to the bartender. You can, you can do anything you want with an establishment. You put all your promo, your cheap beer, whatever you want to do. But it all gets down to the guy behind the bar, and I've uh, probably had the best bartenders in town. Uh, well, some of them have been with me as much as 16 years, and I think the longevity for that type of job is probably two or three. Why the name Tugs? That's my nickname. So I've been, uh, since I was like three years old, my brother Bill and his friend Bob Pat Shea, uh, I used to tag along with them when they were seven years older, and I used to always pull on them, and they'd go, get your, bro get your brother from tugging on us all the time. So that kind of stuff. Mexican dinner night at Tugs was a major event in PB. So was Sunday breakfast. And this man, Owen Ring, cooked here for all 17 of those years. In fact, he probably holds the record for feeding the most surfers in San Diego history. You can credit the crowds to own and to Tom's prices, which even surfers could afford. The price was 50 cents, and you got the three roll tacos, the tostada, and the full salad. And uh, I don't even know if we made money, but it was to get people in. And you get to 40 people, and we were really excited. I guess it took three or four years, and we broke a thousand, and we, finally our record was 1,519. Well, I guess I have changed a bit since the first time I ever went into Tugs. That's a little too rowdy for me. How can people have that much fun at 9 a.m.? But well, I'm here for the cuisine. 
This brings back the memories and the heartburn. I'm just kidding, Owen. Mm. Mm. Originally, this building was a market, then a surf shop, then the Alaskan town, and then Tuck's. And in January, well, it'll become another one of those watering holes catering to yuppies. As for all of these folks, they'll just have to find someplace else to hang out. It won't be easy. I gotta deprogram my car because it's gonna come here every morning. It's been coming here for 17 years. And uh, it's gonna be a traumatic, after a week or so, then it's probably gonna hit me more. Why, okay, why the sign? Well, I think it's, it, you know, you can always describe the symptoms or the cause. And I think that the actual cause is the community. And I feel it like a beach community like this is like a forest and it has ecological ba balances and systems. And I think that we've changed a lot of those systems. And when you do, things change and one of them's tugs. I don't want to get all sappy about it. I suppose it was inevitable that Tug's Tavern would eventually close its doors for good. The way the beach area is changing, who knows what's next? Maybe Biff and Skippy will grow up. Nah. Well, you man, you are a lucky man. I mean, sitting here eating eat the Tug's Mexican dinner, huh? That makes you lucky. Bon appetit. Lava <laughs> Seas Bottles, man.